This is a quick tutorial on how to use the telemetry function and share it with other people in iRacing. So the first thing you want to do is know what controls you need to turn telemetry on. You can go over here to options when you're in the pit box here over to options it'll be under controls by default you will see that it is toggle telemetry logging it's going to be alt l alt l to turn on your telemetry logging you can of course change that to be a different uh, a different control there so if you want to assign that to a button or a switch on your button box or on your wheel or to a different key on your keyboard or keypad, you can do that there. Uh, for, I, for the moment, I personally am just using Alt-L. Once I have a button box, I will be assigning that to its own button. And then, so once you've assigned that, if you're going to reassign that, just click Done. And you're going to now get into the car because you have to be in the car to turn this on. I'm not actually going to drive around, but I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. So as you can see, there's currently nothing indicating that telemetry is turned on, but I will now press Alt L. And you can see that down in the left hand corner of the screen, I now have a uh, display over where it shows my gear my pedal positions and my steering positions there's this uh, icon that says telemetry with the red signal indicating that we are currently recording telemetry this will uh, record a ton of information about the car about what you're doing with the car uh, environmental conditions uh, some channels some factors of telemetry are dependent on what car you are in uh, so it kind of depends it's to mimic the telemetry that would be available on real the the real life equivalent of the car so that you're not getting everything that you wouldn't necessarily be able to get uh, in real life however you do get recordings and telemetry on various environmental aspects such as uh, if there's a caution flag in a certain area track temperatures uh, track state that sort of thing so make sure that you have that on you have to have that on you have to turn that on every single session that you do it will not stay on by itself it's something that you have to assign for every single uh, session that you do in iRacing and that you would like to record telemetry on. The other thing to note on this is that there is nothing uh, that you have to save uh, with this telemetry. It automatically saves itself. Uh, so it's not like replays. Uh, I'm going to back out for a second here, back out into the pit. Uh, there's nothing that you have to save so for example if I were to quit out I have it set up so it will automatically request uh, to save a replay uh, or you may not have that set up and you have to save a replay autom or by yourself manually uh, with telemetry you don't have to do that it records and saves that telemetry regardless of if you save a replay and it saves it regardless of if you tell it to save or not because it saves automatically so we'll back out of this really quick and I will show you where to find this information so this is you want to go into Windows Explorer you'll come over to documents iRacing telemetry and now you have the logs for every single telemetry session that you have done and recorded 
with the vehicle names and the track layout and of course the date and time. These are IBT files, that's not necessarily important, but just something so that you know. Uh, these files will work in numerous data analysis tools such as Motec and TrackAttack.io if you have an account on that. Uh, these will work with the free version of the Motec uh, T2 program, I believe it's what it's called. Here, let me check. I even have it installed. Uh, sorry, i2. It's the Motec i2, uh, both the standard and the pro versions. Uh, the pro version is actually free on the Motec website uh, if you want to use that. Uh, if you are interested in getting into data analysis, you can uh, talk to me personally, you can send me a message, or you can go to data46.racing in your web browser of choice, and you can contact me through that channel, uh, or send me a email at data 46 no, sorry, contact at data46.racing. That's the contact email. So anyway, once you have these files, once you have them available, they work as pretty much any other file. So what you'll want to do to share them is use whatever program you want to share them on, such as uh, Dropbox. If you want to share them with me to view them, you can send them to the Dropbox, which I have will have linked or you can share them on any other file sharing application or interface. Uh, so if you have a Discord team, a Discord group that you want to share that in, you can of course do that. You can share them through emails, Google Drive, uh, any of those sort of formats. Uh, OneDrive would work as well, of course. So once you have that, that's all there is to it. Um, there's a bit more uh, that you need to do if you want to look at these in a program like Motec, but I will get to that in a, another video. This is just a quick tutorial on how to access your telemetry data from iRacing. Thank you very much for watching.